Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another product review, this time from Monster. Now this here is the Rock and Roller Portable Indoor-Outdoor Wireless Speaker. Now I had done a review of the 270 degrees, this one's actually 360 degree sound, music without limits. It's a large box, so let me get this on its side. Okay, now that I've got it on its side, we can see here, same thing, rock and roller speaker here, 360 degree. Here's the picture of it here. We've got 240 watts, and I believe that's plugged in. It's a little bit different, a little bit less when running on battery. Up to 100 hours of playback time on battery. You got your QI wireless charger. Really like that feature. All terrain tires help you transport it easier. IPX4 weather resistance for splash or rain. Bluetooth connect two of the devices together to make stereo or a larger sound presence. I've done that on other speakers, but um, I don't have another one to do that on this one. Let me turn it over again. Now, as you can see here, the side got the hole in the side to help you carry it out of the store. The website here, mymonsteraudio.com. Find out some more. Just another picture. Let me flip it over again. want to also let you know that I got this from a local Sam's Club. Um, pretty easy to get these. Right around $150 at the store. I recommend doing that or buy it online. Have it shipped to your house. Picture is a little bit different here, but all the information is the same so let's flip it over again okay we got more information here it's a six speaker design 240 watts again is the max output plugged in i believe it's got a guitar and mic input uh, included our mics with storage bag auxiliary line out 3.5 millimeter the telescopic handle there to be able to transport it easier tablet and phone stand EQ and FM radio with presets now I like this one here I've been using it on the other one as well comes with the ability to use your cell phone app and be able to mix your tunes kind of play around with it and I'll show that to you as well a lot of features here we'll go over all this here once we get the speaker out of the box so let's go ahead and do that now all right go ahead and open it up for the first time I have not charged this yet either, but uh, I've been using for the last five months of this year. There's actual upgrade you can do with the battery. And uh, let me bring that out to you real fast before I open this up. And I'm gonna end up doing it with this one also. You can actually change it to lithium battery. It takes the same size battery that you're going to use in this unit, which is a lead acid battery, and I believe it's a 7.5 amp hour, so you're going to get a little bit more upgrade. You can buy these on Amazon. I've been using them in my other ones, and I've had some incredible runtime increases using this, so I highly recommend to do that if you do, because they usually last about two or three years, then you've got to replace them. They start having issues they won't charge so that's what that looks like highly recommend upgrading we open it up for the first time here nicely packaged on these things get one power cable basically a computer power cable three prong there's the microphone take this paperwork out here kind of telling you about charging it for the first time as well as using the app nothing else on the back here's the user manual and uh, I've had the 270 for a while and uh, it's been really great. I also have the 
vision, the monster vision with the TV. We use that outside all the time. And I had done a review of it, recorded it, but unfortunately that was one of the videos that I lost um, when the hard drive failed. So that was a real bummer, but I do have that one. If you want to look on their website, you'll be able to find that. Really highly recommend that one as well. So, very nice. You do have a limited warranty on here. I believe it's one year. Should be plenty of uh, protection because it's going to fail probably within that. You can buy an extended warranty through Sam's Club. I did not do so because I've had some really good luck with these. This brand, that is. So let's get this all out of here. Nicely packaged. This is a brand new model. I saw it in there. And uh, it's like, man, I gotta get this one. It's got pretty much the same body style and everything. A little bit different color. The other one is gray. Uh, metal guards on there on the front of the speakers. This one here is black. Let me get this out of the box. That way we can continue further. Okay, so it comes with this plastic bag. I save these, believe it or not. That way I just put it over it so it keeps them dust free or keeps them from getting dirty. Go ahead and take it all the way down the sides. Move it to the side here a little bit. Show you the wheels here. Very nice wheels. They are very smooth when transporting, so that's nice. Try not to tear the bag. I do like to save them. You don't have to if you don't want to. And that's what it looks like. Nice handle. You can collapse that. This is the wireless charger. I've used it many times on the 270 model. This is identical to the layout, including the handle. Helps you lean it towards you. It's pretty tall. See there. Volume knobs here. We'll go over there a little bit closer. Flip it over on its side. One speaker here. Looks like a mid-range. Speaker there as well. Take a look at the front. Here you have the 8-inch woofer as well as a tweeter here. Base port. Nice solid metal. I like the black um, the gray is fine, but uh, the black definitely does look a little bit better in my opinion. So let's flip it over to the back. There's the back of it here. You get the little carry pouch here. This is Velcroed on, so you can take it off. Bottle opener here, as well as the charging port cover as well. On and off switch. Two speakers here in the back, and uh, my understanding those are tweeters. That's what that looks like on the back. Really a nice rugged cabinets on these things. Again, be able to pull that handle out in a moment's notice to get that squared away and mobile. So now we're going to go ahead and Turn it back over again. Now let's zoom in here on the panel. We'll go over some more on that. Okay, so now we've got the mic and guitar inputs here. There's little covers that just pop off to be able to see those. Let me zoom down a little bit. So you can see those there. Two of them, one for guitar one for the mic. You've got gain for both the mic and guitar inputs here. You've got echo. Pretty nice. And we've got another one here for another level for the microphone. These are line out for 
looks like a about the size of a headphone jack there aux in so if you want to hook it up via the auxiliary of your phone or device here's the USB port to be able to charge now this here is the bass and treble these are push buttons here's the bass to give it that nice bottom end sometimes when you're adjusting the EQ on this you do have to hit the low bass again for it to kick in not too sure why they did that but that is uh, an issue not really a con too much but don't forget to do that volume here is very easy to turn you got your pairing button here you got your source you've got your forward and backwards if you're playing it on your device this is the light button here you have two lights that are built in both sides really nice to have and they are pretty bright battery check you can just push that it'll tell you what your battery level is there from a hundred percent down also the Bluetooth button here one two three four five preset the charging indicator power indicator and Bluetooth indicator here as well as an LCD display and that's basically it on this panel so that's really easy to navigate that without issue so now that we're zoomed back out power switch levers on the back I'll turn it on for the first bluetooth. time it says hi it's on bluetooth and it's in search mode so it's a good idea to pair up your device at this moment we'll go ahead and do that now let me grab my phone so now that we've got the bluetooth we're just going to go ahead press and hold the icon and we're going to do a scan here very bottom hopefully we can find the monster monster 360 and I'll go ahead and pair it connected and we're connected pretty simple so we're gonna go to the actual monster device now that's a warning about the battery they had some issues so they were giving out free battery replacements you've got all the monster products that you can use this app with a lot of them in there I use it on 270 We've got the new 360. So now it's on. So it's scanning the speaker here. Hopefully it'll be able to bring it up. So we're gonna go ahead and configure the group. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right. And we're connected to it. It's telling you your battery level. Now that we've connected it to the app, I'm gonna go to the Pandora. Now there's copyright issues. So it looks like we got a sound here. Okay, so this is on Pandora. And we're going to go ahead and go to the base level. Hope you guys can see this. It's at zero now. Let's hit it again for base. We can turn the knob. That'll increase. Hit the treble. I'll go all the way up. There's the extra bass boost. Got a little more bass there. Sounds pretty good. So let me grab some of my non-copyrighted music and we're going to play that for you next. Okay, so now I've got the YouTube copyright free music here. We're going to go ahead and play it. Got the volume turned up a little bit here. We'll turn it up a little more. See how this plays out.
other ones that I've had, uh, including Ion, these, uh, these have a, a nice clarity and mid-range to them. So try to get some songs that have, you know, a little bit of everything in there. Increases. It's kind of late at night, so uh, my family's sleeping, so I'm trying not to keep this up too loud. I'll take it out later and show a, a sound demonstration of it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay this back a little bit. Let me grab the microphone. Put this in the bag when you're done. You don't have to worry about bagging it up, uh, losing it, or same way with the charging cable. I'm gonna do the mic input here. Got an on and off switch here. Boom, boom, boom. So it's got a nice sound to this as well. Turn off the echo. Hello. 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 Just in one, two, three. A nice sound to it. Almost sounds like a PA style sound to it, so that's nice. Turn it up louder if you want. It's really up to you. Also, never point the microphone at the speaker. Always point it away. Just a word of the wise. But that's nice. A very nice sound on that. Let me go to the next song. Got some more songs here. And we're going to go ahead and play that one next. Very nice quality sound, really like them. I'm gonna go ahead and now go through the source. Let's go Oxen. to auxiliary. We're not gonna worry about that. FM radio. FM radio. So we don't have any stations in here, so we're gonna go ahead and use the front and rear buttons here. Hopefully I can get a station to come in. That's actually a pretty hard station to get, so this, again, has a very nice, strong FM tuner, able to really dial in those faraway stations. Almost bound to come across Roman ruins. Now I use this also, sometimes when we're out in the backyard, sometimes I like listening to uh, Coast to Coast, really is a great channel. Uh, listen to all kinds of stuff on there. Not everything, but uh, quite a bit of it. Yeah. Uh, it, it, have you ever worked directly Here's coast to coast with here. neurologists or other... Uh, this is a very nice quality FM kind of tuner. It's bringing that in. in Some of my other ones literally can't other, get the know, stations inside part, the house. That so part kind of a thing. that's a plus. Bluetooth. Then we're back to Bluetooth. Now you can Connected. turn off the prompts. If you don't want that, you're going to press and hold the, I believe it's the source button, 
and you're going to hold that down for five seconds and it'll turn those off but i i leave them on the wireless charger uh it's already active when the unit is powered on so we're going to check that out now there you go that's charging shows 92 percent it's already pretty much fully charged so that's how that works really nice to have just keep your phone and music playing both got uh, plenty of battery power built into this it's only a 7.5 amp uh, amp hour battery so definitely i'm going to upgrade it to that lithium really have had some good luck with them like the transporting options you can use the handle carry it lift it up onto something and when you want to move with it walk with it easily pull that up definitely is a plus uh, the only thing i wish that monster did do was the cup holders believe it or not it's it really comes in handy but it's not a con just something i wish that it did have looks like you have an area here maybe for one at least but uh nice display on there easy to read this even out in the daytime so a lot of features you can use this as a little portable pa system if you do seminars or whatever just wheel this in with you and you're ready to go so this is always active some of my other ones you have to have to turn it on it's a separate unit but this is always kind of in a sleep mode ready to go so it doesn't drain on the battery so that's it on the features on this you got a lot of speakers 360 degree sound we are out here in the darkness of my garage uh, before we take it outside to do a sound demonstration just wanted to go over the LEDs and uh, they provide a nice light output more of a glow let's go ahead and check it out that's the lowest setting as you can see got to remember where the button is on this thing but that light output very nice for maybe if you have a tent camping with it or vice versa I think it would be just fine at this light output and we're gonna go ahead and raise the light level there as you can see Raise it again, and that there is quite a bit of light, probably about 40 lumens, I would say, for a total of about 80 lumens, kind of give or take. It's kind of hard to test the light output on this with the Lux. That's what that looks like. Again, it's going to provide a pretty large area, actually, more of a flood beam. Yeah. Nice. I can't wait to get it outside. So let's go ahead and do some sound tests. I'll bring my sound microphone, decibel reader, that way we can see the presentation that this does. All right, let's head out there. All right, we're out here in the uh, backyard here. Volume's kind of low, got it about 10 on the uh, volume level. I forgot to tell you that this also has sound fields like presets, rock, pop, classical, flat, and normal so you can do that by hit, just hitting the numbers and uh, show you how far back I'm about 25 feet back here on my patio I'll zoom it back in and that volume there is a nice volume if you're just wanting a, a sound in the background so now we're going to go ahead and uh, turn it up and uh, let's see how it goes I'll tell you the volume level that it's on on each time that you see it. Now that there is on 17. 
so it's got a nice bass response on this. adjustments to the bass or treble, but I'll do that towards the end. Now let's just do a little guideline here on our sound pressure level. So right about 66 decibels. Passages. Uh, there's no buzzing in the speakers. Any of the monsters that I've tested and reviewed, there's no static or any kind in it. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and turn it up some more on this and see how well we can do with it. There on 21 of the volume. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, seventy three decibels. Not bad. I'll go to another song here.
treble adjustments as well as bass here. Let's check it out. Okay, so now that I've done the bass adjustments here, we're going to go to another song. And uh, let's see how it does. cell phone here. Let's see how it goes.
probably due to a copyright issue. Kind of a hit and miss. Sometimes it'll be non-copyrighted. Here's a good vocal here. All my breath on reveling emotions. I need some space to think this through. Call me on now. Try to give you hints in the heart to see. Right on the presentation on this speaker it is very impressive that both in sound stage and sound output uh, definitely is a little bit of an improvement in bass response on this model versus the 270 uh, is it worth getting yeah it probably is uh, it's price difference the older model right now is going for a little bit more uh, certain sellers are still selling it for like over $200. Uh, this one here being $150 on Sam's Club at the time of this video uh, is quite a bit cheaper than the older model. Yes, I do uh, tend to believe that this here is a step up, not only in sound presence, but also in the sound quality. Uh, definitely is louder. Uh, I've, I've got to take my hats off to uh, Monster. They are very impressive in their sound presence on this model. Their old model was good too, don't get me wrong. I still use it. I love all my Monster speakers. Uh, they are impressive. So it really is a step up, in my opinion, in the bass department. Clarity, it seems a little more spacious. Uh, but not by a huge amount. Uh, but the quality of the bass is, yeah, this is definitely uh, a little bit nicer, in my opinion, on the bass end. So if you're wanting more of that bass end, this will be something you may want to get. And it's not really that expensive. So, uh, impressive speaker overall. Again, you get this at samsclub.com, or you can go into any Sam's Club, get it. Uh, right now, I believe online, they're selling it at $20 off, so that's even better. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation of this Monster 360. It really is a rock and roller, uh, rock and roller speaker that is indeed, and uh, portable, more than enough sound. You get two of them together, whew, that's going to be a lot of sound, and uh, very nice quality build. Very rugged, and uh, I am impressed with it. I highly recommend it if it's something that you are looking for. Take a look at these monsters. Uh, any of their monster line have been good for me. So this one here, 360, get a good thumbs up from me. Now, if this is something you're interested in getting, I will leave a link below the video down there, below that speaker in the description area. If this is something you're interested in getting, Go ahead and click that link, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thanks button. Donate to my channel if you wish. Otherwise, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these speakers to you in the future.
Thanks for watching. Take care. Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness.